in this video tutorial is going to go through how you can connect your Google Drive account to Schoology. Um, before we go through the steps, I just want to clarify that when you're connecting your Google Drive to Schoology, you'll be able to access all of your Google Docs and you'll be able to share them with students, but not sharing in the same way as you might share them actually through Google Drive. You'll be able to share them with them so that they can see them within the coursework, but um, by sharing them directly through Schoology, it, the Google Doc actually loses its collaboration feature um, and actually is converted to either a Microsoft Doc or a PowerPoint or, or a similar Microsoft or PDF file, depending on what it is. Um, so really, this option is the most um, valuable for if you want to share reference materials with your students, if you want to share notes, outlines, um, things like that where they're going to view it and they're maybe going to have their own copy. Um, but it, um, it won't work if you have a document that you want multiple students to be working on one at the same time. So that would be, um, you would to be able to have that, you would um, assign the Google Doc as a group assignment. Um, so make sure to check that video out if that's what you're looking for. Um, but to, to go ahead and connect your Google Drive account to Schoology, you're going to log in. And then up at the top, you are going to click the Resources drop-down menu. And then you're going to go to the bottom where it says Apps. Once you get there, you'll get a little pop-up menu um, and you'll choose Google Drive by selecting the box and clicking Install. And then um, for you, I've connected mine before, but for you, if you've not connected yours before, you might get a little pop-up box that says that you authorize um, Schoology to you communicate with your Google account and you'll have to go through and kind of give permission and all of that. But then all of your documents should show up. Now there's a couple different things you can go th do through here. Um, and any time that you want to access your Google Drive account now through Schoology, you're just going to go to the resources and you are going to go to apps. And it should show up on the left hand side with your list of documents. You shouldn't have to do it again. Now you can do one, um, create a Google Doc within here. So if you're like, oh, I need to type up some notes for my students and get it to them rather than going to Google Drive and typing up the notes and then giving them to them as long as you don't, as long as the collaboration piece isn't part of what you're typing up, you can select a document, and you can choose to either add a Google Doc. So if I wanted to add a new Google Doc, just title it up. So these are going to be some notes. And now I should have... Oh, here it is, down at the bottom. I should have a little notes document. There it is. Now, one of the other things that I can do is I can select that notes. And if I want to edit it, I just click on the name. And now I can go in and it gives me most of the tools that are in Google Docs and I can type up the notes for my students. It does the same thing um, that you it normally does in Google Docs where it saves everything. And then when I'm finished, I make sure the checkbox is selected. And then I click select. And this is how I'm going to share the um, the Google Docs that I that I have. I check those boxes next to it and now I can choose which course I want them to add it to. I can do it to all. I'm going to do it to math skills section one and two. 
and I'm going to copy the items. And now those Google Docs are in math section one and two. So now if I go to my courses, go to math skills section one, and I go to my files and links, that's where you're going to find it. You'll notice, here's my notes, here's my Schoology sample doc. And you'll notice, though, that now it's not a Google Doc anymore. It has that little Microsoft Word icon. So I can view it. My students can download it. But again, it doesn't have that same collaboration feature. So I'm going to stress one more time that this would be what you would want to use only if you're sharing files that you don't want students to be collaborating on.